Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. Oh yeah, Curie is back with us. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. Man, things are, uh, things are, are, are coming together. Also, Dance, who are you talking to? You're literally just standing there. Um, decided to take, uh, another, another favorite with us, um, because we're still kind of cycling through some old companions, and it wasn't that long ago that we had Curie with us, but Curie is probably one of the most requested companions, so I decided that we would take her today. And what is it that we're doing? Well, we actually have quite a few things left to do. For one, um, we are on synth retention. Uh, we need to return to Father, but I figured that, you know, while we um, have Curie with us, because she can't come with us back to the Institute, uh, we would do variable removal. Watts used electronics. Um, these are infinite quests from the railroad, so we're not going to be doing them forever, but I wanted to at least show one, and also I'm pretty sure we've never been to Watts electronics. It's marked on the map, but I don't think we've ever been inside. So we're going to take Curie over there and find out what's up. Watts Electronics. And also, it looks like some undiscovered location, which I'm always in the mood for. 2,000 rounds for Nuclear Nancy. Just going to wander over here real quick-like and see what it is that we haven't seen. Oh, hello. Okay, I don't have time for this. God, there's a few. Could you could you get that? Yeah, get. get are, are you fighting with your fists? Okay, you're doing that Kiri thing you do sometimes and fighting with your fists. Well, let me know how it goes for you. It appears that there's a perfectly good suit of power armor here. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, let me get this thing open. We can explore the electronics place in power armor then. Victims. Which is what I'm going to destroy. Massive. Okay. Serving. Nice. That worked. Secure the door control. Pop this sucker open. Alright, let's see. Uh, what is this? A T-51? The screen went away. Um, what the... <laughs> uh... Okay, well, it's... What the... Okay, if once I once I pulled my gun back out, then everything was fine. Strange. Once again, the further we get, the more glitches we'll see. <laughs> Soon there won't be text on screen at all. Huh. Okay, this seems pretty nice. Uh, it's not complete, but it's something. All right, yeah. I'll, um, anytime I stumble across them, I like to grab them. I think it's nice. Let's go see what the heck is over here. And it says I have 40 cores. I thought I had a lot more cores than that, but maybe I put some of them away? I don't know why I would do that, because they're weightless, but maybe I did? I know I had well over 100. Mass, gravel, and sand, and I leveled up. That was nice. Um, hmm. Let me sh see my level up here. Um... I've had a lot of people tell me to just continue to dump stuff into luck, uh, because you can't really go wrong there. And, uh, honestly, that seems like a great idea. You continue to enter god mode by doing that, because you continue to increase, um, well, it says right there, the recharge rate of critical hits. Which is nice. It also affects, uh, general good fortune, so finding stuff. Hmm. Not to mention that we can start dumping things into, uh, some of these other perks. Yeah, I'll just dump it into luck. And we already have the luck bobblehead, but that means luck is nine. When we started, I'm pretty sure we spent most of the game with luck at one? Like, we were we were super charismatic, but we were one of the most unlucky people to exist. Also, yeah, there's definitely mole rats or something here that will bleed forever. Also, I hear a person hurt a person. That was weird. The game... The game got stuck in such a way that I was pretty sure that it was gonna freeze. And then it proved me wrong. Man. 
Okay, Bethesda, I know I said, like, it was gonna get glitchy, but don't... <laughs> don't make it worse, man. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. There's a raider. Okay, well, he's dead. Is this... is this their little hut? Legendary glowing. More like legendary dead. You've got something for me, right? Let's see what you got. A nimble, powerful submachine gun. 75% faster movement. Not terrible. Although we can certainly do better. Get away from me. Are they all dead? Because I just killed a bunch of them. So it looks like maybe this is supposed to be a settlement? Maybe? Maybe not. A clean white plate? It's the only plate that that guy had. Are there still- oh, there's still more. Even after all- this place is just... ...completely overrun and infested. Uh, hmm. I mean, there are definitely locations that don't have anything... ...you know, in them. But, uh, this might be one of them. This is just a location. You know, a shortcut for... ...getting around the map, if you will. A cool thing you can climb. But otherwise, doesn't appear to be anything around. Uh, there's another, actually... Oh god, there's two. Shoot. There's a few things nearby that we haven't seen. One's that way, which I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother going all the way out there, but there's a building that's kind of on our... Kind of on our way back. Take a long way and swerve around. There's two or three buildings over here we've never seen. Where are we? What's over here that we've not... ...seen before? There's a red rocket truck stop, which we have seen. And some sort of building that's marked that we've s Is that the- that's not the red rocket. I'm not sure what we're looking at. Also, when I'm in a power armor now, I just assume that I can fly, which is dangerous. Okay, collegiate administration building. That I've been in. Or at least I've been outside of. The thing I haven't seen is... This building? I can't go in there. I'm- I'm close to whatever it is. Where- Where is this building? There's something underground here. And some guy stuck in the ground. Oh, that's fun looking. Sorry, Curie. Is that- that's not what I'm after. I'm right next to it. What the crap? <laughs> I'm on a wild goose chase right now. See, when you're in the city, things can be really close together. Cambridge Campus Diner. That is what I was after? Okay, well, since we're here and the building appears fairly small, we'll check it out quick. Seems nice. Also doesn't appear like there's anyone in here. The music's playing? So many years undamaged. What luck. Well, mostly undamaged. The jukebox seems undamaged, though. That's crazy. Very nice. There's a few places in the downtown area where it's like this. It's just really nice to kind of walk around and see. Hmm. A few things I can use. Now, um, I do want to clarify something that I think is going to be very important. And people that, wa that watch Skyrim will understand. People that haven't may not understand. Even though it feels like we're getting closer to the end of the game, I assure you there is plenty left to do. And uh, what I mean by that is that there's still a lot of stuff I want to see. There's still a lot of, like, locations I want to explore. So even though it feels like we're probably getting there and like, oh wow, he's going to be doing all this stuff soon. Yeah, it's, it's coming. But at the same time, don't be too surprised if, you know, we still spend quite a bit of episodes exploring before we, you know, finalize anything. There's a lot left to see. And once we finish the main game, there's still Nuka World to do, and probably even more exploring. So, the LP still has quite a bit of life in it. I'm just explaining that now because when we start doing some main quest stuff, people kind of get in this this mindset of like, oh wow, he's doing it. And then if I take an episode or two to explore, people get really antsy. Trust me, there's a lot of exploration to come. That was a nice little place. I enjoyed that. 
And there's also a building right next to us. Hubris... Toy? Is this the Hubris building? I thought we were in the... Oh, we were in a comic shop. We weren't in the com... Oh, it's got people in it. We were in a comic shop. We weren't in, like, the... Oh, that's not what this is. Campus Law Offices. Okay, so that's another building that we've apparently never seen. That has, from what I can see, a proper entrance. It looks like one of those places where... It's mostly outside, but there's a few indoor segments. Something worth exploring. Do you realize I'm, like, right here? Oh, honey. Oh, honey. You poor thing. You never stood a chance. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother exploring this right now, because I honestly don't think it's gonna amount to a whole lot. Um, and I can't... I'm pretty sure that we've explored... ...this hospital. Are we at the hospital where it's a par It's across the street from the really interesting parking garage? Maybe. I hear a bug. Oh, hi. Doggone it. Screw you. Get out of here. No, nope. now there's something at- oh, gosh darn it. Please, just... Hold on. If you really want to die, I can make that happen for you, but I don't recommend it. We're at the place where, like, you come out of a sewer, aren't we? It's like a sewer or something. He Maybe I'm imagining it. There's a few parts of the Commonwealth that absolutely end up looking, uh... ...the same, and this is... ...kind of one of those situations, I think. Because I feel like I'm in one place, but clearly I'm... ...I'm somewhere else. And there's another guy... Where are you, guy? Oh, there you are. <laughs> you coming up at me with a knife? That didn't work out very well for you, did it? There's one, uh, there's one other loca- We kind of took a big detour here, but that's alright. One other location up here that hasn't been discovered. And once again, I'm in the neighborhood, so I'm gonna go check it out. And then we'll get to Watts Electronics. God. And the thing is, sometimes I mark stuff on the map and I don't check it out, so I'll have to... ...rely on your guys' help at some point in the LP whenever we're trying to go through and check all the places out. I'll need your help again. This looks like the sinkhole. And you guys are dying. Oh, that- that one's mad. But now it's dead, so I care less. There's one... Cambridge Crater. So this is different than the, uh... ...the old gullet sinkhole. I don't see the feral ghoul, but there's a feral ghoul... ...down there somewhere. Where are you? Wow, this is crazy. Also, there's... ...a legendary over there. Interesting. What's wild is that this has been here the entire game, and I've never seen this. There is a giant crater downtown. I have never seen it. Fallout is just so dense and huge with all sorts of, uh, different landscapes. That's just crazy to me that I've never seen this before. I mean, I've, ex I've explored so much, and yet there's still so much I have left to see. How did I miss a crater this big? Alright, let's see if I can get over here. I'm stomping a little bit, but that's alright. I left a guy alive, I thought! Is he... Oh, he's down there struggling for life. Um, I did kill a legendary, but I don't know if I really want to bother... ...going over there and searching the... the water. Alright. So now that I've made a huge detour... Uh, I can get back to what I was doing. Kiri, are you with me? The Watts Electronics is this direction. And, uh, we're not, I don't think, too terribly far from it. I know we did take... ...the long way. But we got to see some stuff that we actually haven't seen. I don't know how I missed that crater! Because I've been in this general vicinity... ...but somehow I never saw it. But like I said, there's still plenty of, uh... ...there's still plenty of stuff I've never seen. Oh, hi there, friends. You guys aren't hostile as long as I leave you alone, right? Oh, now you're hostile. Well, now you're dead, so I guess it doesn't matter. Your head's popped off. This... This looks familiar, too. 
I feel like I had a shootout here when I was with, like, Nick Valentine or something. And I don't remember why. There's a legendary. Yeah, that, there was raiders or something in that area. And also a synth who was named or something that died? All these memories, these vague memories coming back to me. But finally, after our long... <laughs> our long walk around the neighborhood, we've made it to Watts Electronics. And I'm fairly certain we've never been in here. I don't know what to expect, but we the reason we're going in here is to kill a courser. So let's find ourselves a courser. Hmm. Are you really an enemy though? What if we just chat? Must we fight? I don't know. We probably have to fight. But that's really a shame. So that's apparently a window. That's no window. Okay, I decided to shoot it. <laughs> Maybe we can talk it out with the courser. Maybe coming in here with guns a-blazing wasn't the best idea. Of course, that's what I'm doing now, so... It's probably not happy... ...with me. But it also seems like a fairly easy mission. I just have to walk up here and then shoot it? Huh. Yeah, we're not enemies. Report anything suspicious to the SRB. What? Pardon me, sir. Wait, hold on. Eliminate the Courser. Pam is intel on a Courser in the field. An unchecked Courser can cause it. Oh, it's because I'm friends with the... Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Huh. That makes things interesting. Let me check this terminal. Message. Safe control. Disable military protocols. Yeah, that would be good. Dear asshole, I quit Cooper. Suck on it, Felix. Message. Shipment is procured and it's on its way. Leave your payment at the drop-off site and the amount uh, we discussed. Don't get cheap on me now, Felix. These are some high-grade robotics I'm getting for you, Malcolm. This is awkward. Hmm. I don't think... Killing you would cause me to become enemies of the Institute? I don't think so. I don't think so. Also, I like blew off your legs or something and I'm really sorry. Can I hack you? Assistant manager? Initiate self-destruct. You're walking right towards that. How'd you do? It... barely dinged you. Huh. Well, I'm gonna be honest, um... I'm not sure if I can do this quest. I'm gonna quick save because my intent is not to, to start a war with the Institute at the moment. But we'll see what happens. Still not an enemy. Strange. Now your arm hurts. I'm sorry about this. Uh... Um... Synths show up... ...and nothing happens because I'm part of the Institute. Holy crap, this- this mission is super weird. Like, I understand why it's happening. It's just really weird that it's happening. Huh. Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't piss off the Institute. I know that I have a- a, a pretty good policy of play it where it lies. But this would be a- a situation where I'm not intending to cause problems. Just show off a quest, and I would reset if it did. But... I think we might be good? <laughs> Maybe?
<laughs> like he was like, "Hi, sir. How are you?" And I I shot him to death, and he didn't care the entire time. And then when he was finally dead, Synth showed up, and they're like, "Hey, man, how you doing? It's good to see you. What you doing here? Huh, why is this body here?" And I'm like, "I shot him." And they're like, "Oh, that's weird." Any reason? I'm like, because I'm allied with a different faction, and they said to kill him. Oh, that's a little messed up, but hey, your life, <laughs> none of our business, right? Well, uh, we'll just stand here forever now. Yeah, Synth, come kill this. Like, in fact, they're helping me. They're shooting the bugs. God, this is weird. Being a part of... I mean, at this point, literally all the factions. I'm a part of all the factions simultaneously. And they have issues with each other, and it's causing it to produce some pretty hilarious results. Where they're like, please go kill this guy, and the guy's like, well, I wouldn't hurt you, you're my buddy. But whatever, I digress. Since I'm here, I'm gonna check this place out. Um, I don't think there's too much to it, but it does seem like there's a little bit of lore with, like, this Malcolm guy. So I'm gonna try and learn that while I'm here. And then, uh, we actually, we will be getting into a little story stuff before the Gosh. episode ends. Um, the robots here do seem... the ones that are still present seem hostile. Of course, now I don't really see anymore, so who knows? There does seem to be some sort of basement. I'm gonna get my gun out just in case. Hello? Robots! I suspect heavily that someone's down here. Like you. They're not even, like, really fighting back. And Curie's probably super weirded out. Because she is... Like, kind of has a history as both a robot and a synth. Oh my god. So she's probably like, okay, you just killed an Institute Courser that wasn't giving you any problems. And I'm like, yeah. And now you're walking through and killing every single robot you find. And I'm like, yes. She's gonna be like, well, I, I don't feel safe with you anymore. <laughs> this feels really weird. I want to get out of this nightmare. Uh, restricted area. That seems fine. Remote door control, open door. Is it just infected with rad roaches? Signs point to yes. And here's where the lore is going to be, I'm sure. Activate demo mode. That's weird. Note for management. Cooper, I don't understand what's so hard about this. All I'm asking you to do is turn off the military protocols on the robot shipment we got last night so we can put them on demo mode in the store. How hard could that be? You know, computers. Are you too busy reading comics and playing games? Grow up and be a team player, Mr. Felix. Server status. Oh, I see what it is. It turns on the robots. Which will do nothing, because I've killed them all. That's why they weren't doing anything. But Vat said that they were bad, and I was like, hmm, well, better shoot them. So, one way, actually, which would have been kind of interesting to do this quest, uh, and for, that you guys can do if you stumble across this one, is when you get here, all you would have to do is go into this room and activate demo mode. And there's synths, but, like, they're on my side, so it doesn't matter. Um, you could activate demo mode, and then, in demo mode, they would kill the, um... They would probably kill the courser for you. Probably. Wait, who am I? Oh, okay, there's one left! Where did you go? And that's why the synths are active. And now it's dead. And also, they reminded me of the way... The way out of this... This place. Hi, synth buddies. How you doing? We are on the same team. This is super weird. But okay. Let me check up here. There was a comment last time that actually said, um... You won't get in trouble with the Institute unless you kill a named person. Like a named synth or named scientist or something like that. Maybe that's the case, you know? Maybe it really is that simple. Like, we shot random Institute courser, so the game's like, oh, whatever. I mean, if that's- if that's the case, it's pretty cool. Wow, a nuke and a ton of pre-war money. I'll take that. A typewriter, could really care less about right now. That said- I mean, they're heavy, that's the only thing. They have parts I need, but they're heavy. Uh, let's get behind here and see what's here, and then add- that's it! Watts Electronics is a fairly interesting place. But, uh, very quickly explored. Sweet. 
Got a TV in here. Some more cash stashed, military grade circuit board, some ammo. And that's it. As far as I can tell, we saw everything that was available to see here. I have I have got the Watts Electronic Experience, and that means it is time to go turn this into the railroad. Randolph Safe House has got another dead drop for you. Oh, good. I mean, to be fair, I want to get those done, um, so I'm happy. But also, I was in the middle of something. Yo, Pam. Analyzing. I took care of the courser. Mission's outcome correctly predicted. Warning. Odds of more coursers being discovered are extremely high. Reward for service delivered. Thanks, Pam. That's completed, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna talk to Pam anymore, because at this point, she's gonna continue to give me these things, and I don't want to do them. Um, now, I'm gonna be honest, I think the best thing for me to do is drop off Curie and then just pop over to the Institute. Just to make sure that they don't hate me. Well, I came back... And no one seems to want to kill me. So that seems good. Apparently it's true. You can... ...kill stuff, and it's fine. It's a little weird, for lore purposes, and for story purposes, but whatever. While I'm here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up synth retention... Um, by talking to Father. And he is... God, where is he? I think he's... Okay, he's just above me here. Father has done remarkable. Father has done remarkable. I agree. I call him son, but you can call him father. That's fine. We're gonna go up and see Sean and uh, wrap up this quest. Sean, I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Why do you care what happens on the surface? You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us. And only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Woo! Also, no one's pissed at me! <laughs> Just... the best reward. So let's walk down here. And not... wait, oh, it's above... wait, oh, it's above me. Oh. I just assumed. No, it's not above me. It's... The, what the crap is it? It's like... I think it's in another wing. I think I need to go up here and take this tunnel to the next section. And then go down. And that's where it is, and that's my new place. I got a crib in the Institute. And that's nice, I appreciate that. Let's go down here. Down the hallway. Your new quarters are here, sir. Thanks, X6. Hey there. Your quarters are just inside, sir. Okay. When you're finished here, sir, Father wants to see you. Sure. Since retention is done. Cool. And you said that I was... I had arms? Started the Battle of Bunker Hill. Speak to father. Toilet tank cover activate. Are you serious? Why would they... <laughs> Why would they put this in the game? Like, okay, sure, I can, there's finally a toilet in the game I can sit on. Best, best game, game of the year. Grit Jones on toilet, awaiting, anxiously awaiting fan art of Grit Jones on toilet. But like, wh why? Why? Not that I can sit down, because that's somewhat reasonable, but what the heck is this? Sorry. Dang it. <laughs> Even when he doesn't want to, he sits. Why can I play with the toilet tank cover? That's the weirdest thing to include. So strange. 
Like, having little things to play with is kind of cool. I can't turn the shower on, but I can open the doors. But the toilet tank cover? So strange. Uh, there's a few things in here. Some stim packs. Clipboard. Clean room suit. Get a bed. This is all very nice. A little weird that he said that you had plenty of arms, because there's nothing here that would indicate that, but whatever. Uh, alright. We are not working on Battle of Bunker Hill, however. We are going to take a trip back to the Pridwin. And we should do so with our good buddy... Paladin Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. Woo! Paladin Dance! Alright. Let's get to the Pridwin. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Gracious. Uh... Well, we've already located Dr. Lee. That part's done. We know exactly where she is. Dance? Oh, yeah, you're standing next to me. I was like, where'd Dance go? Oh, no. Uh, outside the wire, give holotape to Dr. Uh, to Dr. To Dr. Ingram. Um. Okay, where... So where's Proctor Ingram? He's... Proctor Ingram's somewhere else. So we need to go... Loc That's the one I'm on, right? Just want to make sure I'm not crazy. Okay, you are outside. As always, um... Huge thank you to... Everyone for uh, continuing to help out in terms of what I can and cannot do uh, Just because I don't always know exactly what I'm uh, Allowed to accomplish um, to, to, to retain my neutrality and uh, the comments have been extremely helpful in letting me know you know exactly what I can and can't do and lines I can't cross and things I can't do when and uh, that's been helpful, because I am trying to be as neutral for as long as possible, which is sometimes a difficult thing to do. Also, what is undiscovered down here? What the heck is undiscovered? Well, I have no idea. Hey! Proctor, I came across a holotape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You didn't expect me to survive the trip? A device like the Signal Interceptor is way out of my league. I was hoping you'd make it, but I find it tough to have faith in technology I don't understand. 
Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. What do you hope to find on there? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's going to take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxson gave you all of the details? Good luck, Knight. Well, that was easy to do. <laughs> Go talk to this person. You did it. Good job. Dance loved that. Aw, thanks, buddy. Uh, so Dance really likes it when we help the Brotherhood. Who would have thought? Uh, from within, locate Dr. Lee. During my infiltration of the Institute, Elder Maxson has ordered me to make contact with Dr. Madison Lee and convince her to work on a special project for the Brotherhood of Steel. And also Randolph Safe House Fine. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to to take Dance with me for this. Um, Dance. Hey, where do you want me? Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Is something amiss? I mean, sort of. Dance, I think it's time for you to leave. Affirmative. I'll see what I can do to make myself useful while you're gone. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Sanctuary Hills, please. Alright, while you travel there, I am going back into the Institute. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? Oh my god, the... The kid's out. That's... Weird. Dr. Lee. Doctor. You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see... A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lions let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? I was just told to get you to come back. The Brotherhood wants me back. And the best they can do is send a robot that does nothing but follow orders? Sorry, but you're going to have to do a lot better than that. I give up. What would it take to convince you? Alright, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here. A Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? Oh, man. I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. 
I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? I already have something that might convince you. How did you... Never mind. Just let me see what you've got. How do I know you'll honor our agreement? I never promised I'd return to the Brotherhood. I said I would consider it. You're just going to have to trust me. If the Brotherhood didn't, they wouldn't have risked sending you to find me in the first place. Now hand it over. Here you go. A holotape? This better not be a waste of my time. This is the uh, personal log that we found. And apparently she's got to play it. And apparently it doesn't want to play very loudly, but we have played this holotape before. So, treason! He'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving! I have a plan, and if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. No matter how badly it hurts, you needed to hear the truth. And for that, I thank you. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work? I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Wow. There was an option there I had to use charisma and say, trust me. But that didn't sit well with me. I don't want her to trust me. I want to her to see evidence. Because she's a smart lady. And if I have the evidence to to give her, then I think that she, you know, absolutely deserves that. If you require maintenance, Quite an interesting episode indeed. Things are happening on all fronts. All fronts. The railroad's having me kill coursers. I'm in with the Institute. I'm in with the Brotherhood. This is getting really, really crazy. As a reminder, do the fan art! There's a lot of awesome fan art coming in, but I would love it if you guys would continue to keep it up. We still have a, a good handful of episodes ahead, and uh, we'd love to see your continued amazing artwork and uh, honestly, often hilarious artwork uh, show up at the end of episodes. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more Steven Plays. Fallout 4.